Hi everyone, thank you for joining me here today. I would like to share another journal with you that I made out of a yard sale book. I really like the title of this one, it's called Shining Like the Stars. Um, the book measures five inches wide by eight and a quarter inches tall and the spine is just under an inch, about seven eighths of an inch. Um, the book has three signatures and I used a double strand of um, waxed linen thread to sew in the signatures. I think I will um, make an elastic to hold it close because it is a bit puffy. This book has silver metal book corners to give them some uh, support and durability. I reinforced the inside of the spine with some fabric. The inside cover is, is covered in um, sheet music and a feather design napkin that I decoupaged over it. The back side has um, a slightly less aged piece of sheet music. I think I couldn't find another piece of that um, old one. Um, this book has a lot of different papers um, and, and textures in it. I did quite a, a bit of stitching, at least uh, like for me, <laughs> I did quite a bit of stitching. And it has, as you can see, lots of stuff sticking out to the side. Uh, this page, this very first one, is actually um, from brayering off paint from um, jelly printing. I glued two pages of those together because I like the way the paints layered on top of each other. Look quite nice. I die cut some leaves and stitch those in as well. I have some uh, different um, shapes and uh, sizes of pages in here. This is some just some uh, craft paper, like not craft paper, it's for crafting. It's just colored paper for kids crafts. This is um, a picture of a yarn ball that I punched out with a one inch circle punch that fit exactly and there were several images so I doubled them and then used them back and front as, as tabs on the sides of the pages. Um, there's a ticket strip. I made some fabric tabs on some of the pages. There's a side pocket with a postcard and a picture from a magazine that you can color, color, color the flowers in and this is backed with a negative from uh, some die cut flowers. I stitched that on as well. There's some hand marbled paper and some, um, these were some swatches yarn samples that came with a catalog and I just cut them down a little bit to fit the page. On the side of this page is a fabric flower tucked into the fabric tab. This is uh, removable. I'm not gonna take it out all the way now because I think it might be hard to get it back in. But if it was like in the way the recipient doesn't like the bulk on the side of the page it can definitely be taken out. There is a, an envelope page pocket with an envelope in it. There's some, some little goodies in the envelope, some tiny playing cards. Some um, more yarn ball images. I thought these were just really cute and colorful and cheerful. I used the rest of those um, to make some belly bands and pockets in the book and these are just the uh, leftovers. There are some little mini postcards that I made using a stamp. This is a uh, um, Teresa Collins stationery noted stamp. I use that one a lot. 
I just used some scraps with nice paper to make mini postcards out of those. There are some, I never know whether to count these two pages as, as one or as two because they don't overlap. So basically they're one page, but actually they're two. I never know how to count these. Not that I really count uh, how many pages I have anyway, but just kind of out of interest. This used to be a paper bag. And there is one of the um, of the stripes I, I uh, from uh, with the yarn balls. I turned that into a belly band, and there's a book illustration with some lilac flowers and a leftover cut off piece from Macellanla. There are some more leaves and a flower I made from some scraps. There's another postcard and a little image of some garden herbs. Um, this page is um, colored with uh, Dilutions inks. I used um, this paper to clean up some of the some of the ink I was working in my dilutions journal um, inking up some some pages and used the extra paper to uh, soak up some of the of the excess ink There's the second signature that starts with a polka dot paper bag and a cutout from from a, a craft magazine. There's some more of that hand marble paper. My sister made this paper years ago when she was in um, in school, she she went to an art and design school, and they they made this paper with, uh, I think like the actual marbling technique with all of the weird things that they put in in the water for that. There's some pretty butterfly paper. Another one of those brayer pages. Another ticket strip. There's another flower in in the file tab. A piece of silver gift wrapping paper. I made a bookmark that has a metal leaf charm and a fabric flower on the end. There's another one of those scrap paper flowers. There's another pocket that's a negative from the flower die cut. Another illustration from one of my nature books and another piece from a calendar. Some more of the yarn swatch. There's some little things in the paper bag. These are die cut moons. These are actually um, stickers. I marked that in the back just so the recipient would know. This is a custom order journal. A friend of mine asked me to make something that he could give to a friend of his. And just a piece of writing paper with a mouse. Here is another envelope. And there's another postcard in it. There's another pocket with a big image, the stream on it, and there's some more negative die cuts. Uh, wax paper, I think it's wax paper. There's another, another flower and a leaf. There's some, a vellum page.
There's lots of space to write in this journal. There's a cutout uh, from a magazine that can be colored and that can be colored as well. And there's the other piece of that uh, yarn paper. There's some more little postcard images and another little one up here with some cupcakes. And that was the journal. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for joining me again. And I'm sorry if my voice sounded a little odd. I have a bit of a cold. <laughs> so have a nice day. Bye.